So now I need to. This, isn't what look, our setup this camera right here. That's this camera. camera. Okay. Look it in the eyes like your best friend. Okay. Hello, camera. Hi, uh, you're my best friend. Nice to see you, camera. Look at the lens. Okay. I'm so small. <laughs> There's one for you. How many we got? Four? Yeah, Feel free to take one. I'll take this one. We got a lot of crazy hey. stuff happening. We've got the, the Viva, is it Fry or Viva Fry? Fry? A derivative of my last name, which is Fried Heights. So it's like fried chicken. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Viva Fry. Perfect, Viva Fried Chicken. Perfect for this episode. Viva and his family came down from Canada, correct? From Montreal. Montreal. Quebec. I found Viva and his channel because I sort of don't know anything about law and <laughs> he's a lawyer he has um a family style vlog but he does a lot of like legal type videos there's an expression in french nul n'est censé ignorer la loi no one is supposed to be ignorant of the law a lot of crazy stuff he caught a giant fish with a drone okay we're gonna turn it to the side now oh my gosh did you just see the fish just i got a fish oh my gosh oh my gosh Oh my gosh! Very impressive. So I always kind of DM him silly legal questions. He's always responding with a strong disclaimer of... <laughs> this does not constitute legal <laughs> advice. And so in this whole kind of uh, communication over the last year, I offered anytime he's in New York to come stop by the kitchen and we'd cook some food. And so he texted me last week. Him and his family were coming in for spring break. I told them, think about what you want to learn to cook your family something practical. And today on the show, that's what we're going to make. Something so, practical is the stressed <laughs> word because the first two suggestions I ran by my wife were... Liver. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do a lot of cooking on your show, right? Yeah. Just cook it for 10 minutes. Flip it over on the tin foil, but leave it open on the top so that it absorbs the smoke. This is the cooked fish. It's beautiful and it's going to be delicious. What happened to this fish? Yeah, I do a lot of cooking. <laughs> okay, so I think today what we're gonna do, I asked them what they wanted to make and they came back uh, really good chicken fingers and sweet potato fries, right? Hey, I know, I like making chips out of potatoes. Uh, well, potato we're gonna do chips. something a little bit different with a healthier potato and you're gonna like it. It's nice and sweet. We're gonna try and get it crunchy uh, with a little bit of cornstarch because sweet potatoes are hard to get crispy. They have a high Ooh, moisture yeah. content. True. So a little bit of cornstarch is just gonna help. Is that soft? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's an egg. And it's not soft. <laughs> <laughs> soft egg? Guys, look at these chicken breasts. Then we got some chicken that we're gonna turn into Ooh. chicken tenders. Basically, we we covered on the show chicken cutlets, but I did that before I really spoke in videos, and it was like one of my first recipe videos when I was figuring stuff out. So I'm excited to kind of cover like breading chicken and doing that. Mm. What's gonna make this different than a chicken cutlet is basically the shape and the size. So we're just gonna cut these into strips, make a nice breading station, and everything's gonna be delicious. We're gonna finish it with a nice little salad that everyone's gonna love. So we got a lot going on. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. Let's Do jump this. right into it. Bye okay. Bye bye. I'll see you on this. I'm gonna go on this side right here. What do you want to do? I'm, I'm gonna put you on a top so you can pack it. Yeah. No, okay, so here, stay here. Put me so down. you wanna see your face? No, it's gonna put back it with off. the egg. <laughs> you gonna crack? <laughs> you gonna crack my egg for me? Yeah. Uh -oh. Perfect. You wanna do one? That was maybe <laughs> the most impressive egg crack I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at how much trouble I'm having cracking this egg. <laughs> Versus your child. What, do I have a cooking show or something? Wait, let him show you. Here you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Do you like eating eggs? No. No? <laughs> okay. Wait, a lot of backing up a little bit so I don't get the. Uh, Ethan. 
Okay, two. <laughs> Finally, I got to find what I was put on this earth to do. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. It's in the nail. Okay, eggs are done. All we do is just put a little bit of salt in them. Like That's that. That's not a little. <laughs> so, okay. So this is kosher salt, right? The flakes are so small and flat, that is actually less salt than mm -hmm. like a tablespoon of iodized salt. Oh, yeah, and it tastes less that. salty. Like if you taste it, right. whatever, it tastes a little bit. It's not overly salty. It just sort of dissolves quickly on your mouth. I never so, knew that. So what that is, is not actually as much salt as you think it is. It, it makes it harder to over salt yeah. something. Very interesting. Me. And a little bit of pepper. A little pepper. You wanna try? No. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so that's done. We get that out of the way. A little bit of flour that we're gonna dredge the chicken in, and we're just gonna salt it the same way. You can add a lot of salt here because most of that's not going to get on the chicken, and flour is very bland. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing here. It looks like a lot, but... Maybe that's our that's mistake. We don't want to salt. That's the biggest mistake <laughs> in we cooking. Salt. It's not to make anything salty. All salt does is make it taste more what it should taste like. The biggest problem is people like thinking they're over-salting it when they're under-salting it. So now we got breadcrumbs. A mix of regular Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. This is panko. These are Japanese style breadcrumbs. I think Ethan's world is being rocked right now. <laughs> Japanese breadcrumbs. <laughs> okay, and since there's seasoning in that Italian breadcrumbs, we don't really need to add salt. You have the flavor from the Italian breadcrumbs and then texture from the panko. And that's gonna make super crispy chicken. Now, before we cook the chicken, I wanna just take care of the sweet potatoes. They're so big. They're very big. Hey, what are you doing, Dad? Okay, guys. Knives around. Everybody be very careful. Yeah, be very careful. Hey, you want to hold on to this for me? <laughs> so we want to make french fry shapes out of this. French and fry, it looks all weird, right? So we have to sort of like square it off a little bit. So I'm just going to... French fries for me. Yeah. yeah. French fries for everyone. So we're just going to cut off the ends like that. I already told you. It's too heavy. So I'm just going to start cutting them into planks. Good night. That's a yes. beautiful sweet potato. And then try and get them as even as you can. Inside. Inside. So I want these like flat sort of planks that I can then just cut into large french fries. On top of that one. Okay. So then we have these french fries. French fries! <laughs> you can make them like thinner if you want, a little thicker. We're gonna throw these in the oven, so we're basically just going to cook them to the point where we get nice color on all sides. And we're gonna throw them in some cornstarch. Get some nice non-GMO cornstarch over here. It's cornstarch. Made from corn. He doesn't know what anything is. <laughs> it's a toy. So I'll just throw a little bit in there. Get a little bit of air in there so they can... Yes, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Ethan. Go ahead. Shake it. You love shaking. <laughs> shake yeah, it. I love shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you um, coat them in cornstarch? Sweet potatoes have a higher moisture content, so they're a little bit harder to get crispy. So if you just sort of coat them, lightly in some of the cornstarch. That's just gonna help it achieve like a little crispy exterior when we cook them. What I'm gonna do actually is... I learned nothing else today other than that. This has been a productive cooking day. Eat it, my friend. So I'm just gonna sort of... Try and get yeah. this excess off as much as possible. Yeah. What are you guys doing? That's good. Distance, you would swear this was aged cheddar. I would that's think that's right. a carrot. Like a cheese stick. If I, from a distance, from here. From a distance, <laughs> you look like. <laughs> oh, he's holding one. It's so confusing because you look at the camera. And yeah, you I'm on this side, but oh, I'm on that side. Look, look at my green eyeballs. Look, there we go. <laughs> I am a robot. 
I am a, just using a whole bowl. Another thing we don't want to do is salt them right now because salt is going to pull out moisture and that's also going to oh. make it harder to get it crispy. And then mm -hmm. the steak we can do it. And then what we want to do is line them up with some space. We don't really want to crowd them. This is where like a little bit of the love and cooking happens. Yeah. You help them? Yeah, do you guys want to help? Make you want to you want to make them so that they don't touch each other. You want air to get in between each of them. And look, if their hands get dirty, you've got a little thing. Sticky. Yeah, if that flour is getting a little sticky, but that's gonna make a nice crust for us. See, like, see how this is sort of curls up? I want to yeah. get that that side flat so that it gets nice and crispy. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, like that. That's perfect. I'm only using one finger. <laughs> now we wash our hands. Yeah. I only have to wash one finger. No, you should probably wash all your hands. Remember the rule? Always be cleaning? Always be cleaning. Wipe that up. Have them nice. Make it nice. So here we got them. We got them lined up. We're going to throw them into the oven at 425 until we start to get color on one side. And then we're going to flip them and just kind of do that until we're happy with how crispy they are. So now the key is we're going to make sure that we don't screw those up while we do everything else. <laughs> we're doing the chicken. we got to cut the chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I deal with chicken and cameras, I like to wear gloves. Oh. Want to try? Okay. What? Right. These are the only yeah. gloves ever that fit me. Lila, this one's the actual camera. <laughs> so there we go. We're just going to cut these breasts straight down. And we got this grain that sort of comes down. You can kind of see it yeah. taper yeah. off. The way you cut a chicken really matters. If you cut it along the grain and then bite into it, the, the grains can't separate as easily as if you cut it against the grain. It just makes sense that a, a grain will pull apart more easily when you chew it. So you want to sort of look for it, which is the grain is sort of running across the meat like that. So I want to cut the opposite way. So that when you bite down that on these little lines, it's going to be nice and tender and pull apart real easily. So tell me where the grains are and which way I need to cut. Is it going that way? Exactly. Perfect. And there you go. Super easy, super fast, and you got homemade chicken tenders that are cut right. Now you know. You guys are going to be breading. Keep them on. Okay. I like bread. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Them. Oh yeah, this is the easy part. Everybody can get involved and I'll show you how to make really well breaded, perfect chicken. So first thing, I wanna have something my chicken is on, my three pieces of breading station, and then another place to put breaded chicken on that's nice and clean and dry. Got two big plates there. I've got some chicken here, I'm just gonna season it before. I'm gonna drop chicken in here. You guys wanna help me? Okay. Oh, actually, Stop, stop, stop. I made a mistake. You're not supposed to drop chicken in the egg first. You're supposed to do it in the flour. Don't tell anybody. Throw them into the flour. Oh, it feels nice and cool. And then we can take this bag. Dad, come here. Get, let me a hand. That's my cue to stop vlogging. No lie. Because I'm neurotic. I'm gonna take it like a and, and like this. There you go, like a shake and bake. Dun, 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 dun. All right, you're good. Okay. Daddy, we're gonna have to try this once we get back to the grill. No, we're not. Live off this high, because we will never be able to replicate this quite, quite as well. We'll try. Take this. We get it nice and dry. We don't want like a ton of flour on there. Just like okay. the thinnest layer of flour, that we then drop into our egg. Can I drop one into an egg? Yep. Yeah. Shake it off first. I know. This good? Yep. Perfect. You Chicken. drop it in there. Okay. Drop it in. <laughs> now hold off for a minute. Let's kind of get these mixed up. So we get them like that, right? And then you want to toss them a few at a time into this guy. So put some in here. Get that uh, excess egg off of there. Slam it against the edge of the, yeah. Perfect. And now, yep, drop it. Now with your hand that's not wet, right? You have this hand, you want to go like this. Get some of this breadcrumb in there. Really use your hand and push the breadcrumbs really adhered into there. Make sure there's no spot on the chicken that still has wet egg. Smell that? Can you smell the... It smells so good, right? Oh, well, that part has so you have to push it in. And then look, you have a, a perfect chicken tender. Oh, nice. And then we have a little bowl here. 
Yeah. Yeah. What are those? Uh, looks like Zoom Law Fitness. Okay. Are those from my house? <laughs> <laughs> so see this? See that part right there? Yeah. You want to make sure you got breading right there because then that's not going to get crispy. So you can sort of look with your eyes. See these little parts that are still wet? You want to double check that you get those extra breaded. So we're just going to take this guy and just double check that they're nice and dry. Yeah, now you get more. Freaking delicious. You guys are doing excellent. So, look how easy. There you go. Now, yeah, you gotta do a double wash. Don't give me a finger, you give me a whole hand. Let's see what we got here. Hold on, where's my, where's my hand, right? Okay, I like what I'm seeing. So what we wanna do now is we've got this little crispy exterior. Some's got a little bit more color than I want on some, but that's okay. There's a lot of sugar in these, so they're going to get a nice little color. And go through. A color means? It's flavor. Okay. And it usually means texture. So now you are rotating to get the other side? Yes. This is, is where that, love comes in, you know what I mean? Is that butter on the bottom of the pan? No. It's actually canola oil. So what happens when you cook is, obviously the rims cook harder. These are a little lighter, these are a little darker. What I might want to do is just bring them in and then replace the ones in the middle and drop those on the outside. Just so I get an, a little bit even cooking. Those look good. All right, so the girls did a wonderful job breading chicken and uh, now it's just time to fry them. So let's head over to the stove. I could eat that. And these are crunchy on the outside and like mushy, like custard, not custardy, but like, ah. like mashed potato on the inside. Mmm. Can I be mommy? Oh, kids, I don't believe. Okay, I'm a taking mommy. A tractor and a baby. Oh. This is mine. Did you try, Lila? Mmm. What? Lila, there was a big stick that fell down from the tree and I climbed the tree and I went on a big wall. Give me five. Wow. Um, may I? Oh, no, wait. Can I take? No. Hey, yeah, go for it. Okay, let's see this. That's amazing. That's amazing. Simple. Mm. Forget about it. Amazing. Chicken is done. Our fries are done. Eat them. Eat them. Crispy Wait, fries. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so hard there? Yeah. Oh, you judging me now? <laughs> yeah. Now we got a salad. Some arugula. Salad. 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 It's the best chicken ever. It's the best chicken ever. I'm going to show you how to make a little easy salad. We have some arugula salad. Yes, it's a little sweet. Come on, we need it. All we gotta do is... Apple? Is that an apple? Is that an apple? Yes, it is. We cut it like that. Apple. So we got some nice fresh apple. We'll throw that apple in there. We got some candied pecans. Those are delicious, so we throw those in there. We've got some fresh Parmesan cheese that we're just gonna take a peeler and we just peel little pieces of the cheese in there. That's that real Parmigiano Reggiano. The Parmigiano is the best cheese. The best. And that's just the basis of the salad we're gonna do. And then we're gonna make a vinaigrette. I would normally use a little honey to sweeten it, but we've got some Canadians, so we can use some syrup. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna make a balsamic vinaigrette. I'm gonna show you the easiest way in the world to do it. Enough for two weeks. Oh, wow. So you don't have to go to the store, never go to the store and buy vinaigrettes. Please never, ever. Four things I make, I put in every vinaigrette. Yeah. So I'm gonna take like one part of balsamic vinegar, and if we're gonna make a big batch, you know, it doesn't matter, we're going by proportions. So don't take, don't take the let's call it about that much. Okay. Then I wanna take at least one to one oil to vinegar, if not two to one oil to vinegar, depending on how acidic you like something. You'll be able to see how much oil you have versus how much vinegar. It's like one of those. Uh those toys where you flip it upside down. Yep. We'll add and syrup. Oh yeah, that's a good load of syrup, eh? Dijon mustard. A nice French-Canadian, French, 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 
<laughs> I think it's maybe French. 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 Pardon me. Do you have any grey poupon? So I literally don't. like that much. What are you doing over here? <laughs> then we got some. Season it with salt. Nice pinch of salt. Remember that's not too much salt. And then pepper. And you, you almost spilled this. <laughs> <laughs> you take that top. See that? This is called emulsification. Look how beautiful that is. Whoa! Coats my finger. That's amazing. Never blind vinegar again. Never. Put your finger in there. I don't usually like this. Yo, stuff, but I'm, it's this really is, good. I like this. Go. No, no, eat it. You're gonna eat. There you go. We well, can't win them all. <laughs> we got our salad. We want to make sure everything's nicely incorporated. Okay. And around the end of the bowl. See that? Not onto the lettuce on the outside of the bowl. That's gonna make sure we don't add too much because you know when the lettuce gets wet and gross. So let's mix it up. I don't know that means I never eat that. I don't like Stomach. If you like it enough, you can use it as a dip for the chicken. And there I you got go. This piece. How is it? It's amazing. It's that panko and the Italian breadcrumbs. Makes so it perfect. We've got, we've got one and it's not big. Wait, what? That <laughs> I wasn't talking to myself. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the dipping. Uh, in a second, right now we're doing something else. I know it's mm. tragic. It's so delicious. Right? It's in your salad. No. It's so juicy. So what do we think, guys? Oh, New dinner on the weeknights? You're in charge of the chicken. Yeah. Ethan's in charge of cracking of the eggs. Ethan gets the eggs, cracks the eggs, because he's the best <laughs> ever. Who wants a salad? You, gotta, you guys got too much fried food. You got to eat some salad. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, boy. Hey. Oh, my you ready for some salad? <sighs> Get it on my tray. It's <laughs> good. Mm. Take that. I should have stayed a ruler off that. I think that's a new thing. Now, sweet potato sweet fries, guys. Come on. Who uses this? Make breadcrumbs on your back. Oh, Dreiser. Sorry. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> okay, we got this. There you go, good boy. He doesn't Frank need either, so one pork for all and That's all, all I need. You do what you gotta do. So there it is. It's just like a, a really basic, kid-friendly, healthier take on chicken fingers and french fries. It's got some greens in there. It's got everything. Amazing. You Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> We're not on the cooking show. No one cares about your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time when Ethan cracked the egg? <laughs> okay. So that's it. You got something that is practical, right? You can do it. Are you going to do it? I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to get this Parmesan cheese is what I'm going to I'm expecting you. Do you think you could, you could do it from beginning to end? For sure. That'll be the next video. I will do it from beginning to end. I'm gonna, I'll write the That's recipe. That's a challenge. I don't there. need written recipes. Oh. It's all in here. Okay. And on my camera. <laughs> Did you do the breaking oh, part in half, like where you can see? Oh, it's still juicy. Daddy. It's amazing. Yeah, you want some more? No, bring me your phone. Is this fry approved? Yes. That's right. Mila approved? Viva fry approved. Um, Mila's men is approved. Oh, she just she just closed on channel. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> That's it, folks. I'm destroying my cutting board. <laughs> I literally need to get a new one. What? We're gonna, we're, we have to say goodbye. We gotta say right before you have to do all the dishes. How are you feeling? Yeah. You look like you're struggling. <laughs> It's been uh, all right. Well, thank you, thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah. Thank you for having us. This was fantastic. I hope you guys got a recipe that you, you love and that you can make often and the so kids cool. enjoy. You're so cool. Oh yeah. This That's is like <laughs> no no eating until dinner. That's gonna be the best. Uh, this is the best lunch ever. What do you say? <laughs> all right, he's out here. Good, good. Oh, yeah. uh, Steve, that was delicious. Thank, thank you very so much. much. I really awesome. appreciate you guys You're coming, so coming all the way down from Canada and well, spending some time with me. Every time we come now, we're stopping off. <laughs> oh. Some chicken <laughs> cutlets. Kind of like our first stop. Okay. Good. I appreciate that. That makes me feel good. I'm glad. I wish you guys the best rest of the trip while you're in New York. For now, that's all that I've got. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. So guys, what did you learn today? How to cook uh, that? Uh, <laughs> how to cook the chicken and now?